HOA nightmares. Are you part of the HOA right now? Get out. If you're a first time home buyer, don't do it. Check this story out. All right, picture this. You're woken up by the sound of a tow truck hooking up to your car to haul it out of your own driveway for a violation that's not even visible from the street. And worse yet, the HOA, which you pay hundreds of dollars a year for, gave the green light to do it. See, that's some BS right there. Let's go. Well, it happened. And tonight, I-Team investigative reporter Adam Walser listening to outraged neighbors who tell us their homeowners association and the tow company it contracted with are going too far. Security footage shows a stranger lurking outside Brendan Wells' home at 2 a.m. Someone came up into my driveway with my truck's backed in, took a picture of my license plate, and then took it off the property. The See, somebody gonna get shot like that. That's just it. Tow truck belongs to A1 Recovery, which has a contract with the Lone Star Ranch HOA where Wells lives to enforce parking rules. What was their reason? Uh, my registration was out of date by a month. You're talking about your, your tag on the back my of your tag. car. So this happened in October, and then my registration went out in September. When Wells woke up, he thought his truck was stolen. Instead, he discovered it had been towed to this lot 14 miles away. His girlfriend drove him to pick it up, but Wells missed a full morning of classes at the National Aviation Academy. An hour and a half, two hours rolled by, and finally someone shows up. What'd you have to pay the tow company? 200-something bucks. That's cheap, and that's in Florida. I remember when I was in Dallas, I had to pay $575. Tow truck companies, such ripoffs. Yeah, that's, that's my grocery money for the month. A similar scene played out in the neighborhood two nights later. First, the A1 recovery driver hooks up a truck parked on a county-maintained road but realizes he's unable to tow it because it has four-wheel drive. Neighbors confront the tow company employees as they try to tow a nearby Tesla. You're going to come here and, and harass people that live here? You're I'm harassing doing... us. We I'm are doing our job. job. No. You're not doing your job. Yeah. This is in the middle of the night. Yeah. This cell phone video was shot by ABC Action News photographer Allison Shaw, <laughs> but she had no role in determining how this story was reported. It was her car the tow truck driver hooked up moments earlier. Shaw's security camera captured video of the driver walking uninvited onto her private property. First of all, there's certain ways you're supposed to tow a Tesla. You can't just tow it normally. So, yeah, I think they already got that wrong. Taking photos of her tag, then hooking up her car while it was plugged into the house. You need to drop it. I told you it would be a $75 drop fee. Oh, what? $75 drop fee because you hooked on? Take card cash. No. no. Okay, we can call the police then. Call the police. The A1 employees explain they are carrying out orders from the HOA. I am employed by the HOA right now. Attorney Kathleen Barreras represents the Lone Star Ranch HOA. That's Let's see what this little shark has to say. Does the HOA have the right to say, you can go in that driveway, that private property, and, and check those tags. I think it does. Did she just say, I think it does? Like in a court law, you're supposed to say yes or no, or I plead the fifth? Uh, whether that's a good idea is an entirely different issue. Rara says Lone Star signed an agreement years ago allowing A1 Recovery to enforce parking restrictions. We found this generic A1 recovery contract online, which allows businesses, apartments, and HOAs to check boxes indicating which rules A1 can enforce. The association goes to the vendor. They say, vendor, we need your professional help. And the vendor says, here's our contract, take it or leave it. And they don't um, get paid if they don't tow those trucks. Exactly. So there's a, there's a motivation by the vendor in this case to have as many boxes checked as possible so as many vehicles can be towed as possible. A1 Recovery declined an interview request, but their lawyer said in an email, quote, my client has a written agreement with the Lone Star Ranch Homeowners Association and at all times operated under the direction of their president. The driver told neighbors he was given a list. 31 vehicles. That's out of about 200 50 single family houses and townhomes. So you guys sitting everything to your president. Okay. How's the president here? It's a 
Yeah, get that president there. Bring him. An abuse of power, for sure. Um, I don't know what their motive is, but you know, we're just the ant farm and they got the magnifying glass and they're picking us out. The driver suddenly dropped Allison's Tesla unexpectedly when she sat on the hood of her car with her feet on the towing boom. She's having it checked out to see if it caused any damage. Pasco County deputies arrived minutes later and wanted to see the company's authorization. Where's the actual I need this Thank you. This is my contract. Are you understand what I'm saying? I don't have to have it on when yes. I When I arrest somebody for a warrant, I have to have this copy of right? Deputies told the tow truck driver he was overstepping his bounds. You have no authority to be here whatsoever. Agency. If you hook up to a vehicle and you take it, it's considered vehicle theft, you will be prosecuted. Somebody Yes, that's facts right there. Take it. They tried to you did it right now. The vehicle's still here. The next time you try to take another vehicle, our supervisor said you will be prosecuted for vehicle yeah. theft. They said if I take another vehicle out of here, I will be prosecuted. Two days after we interviewed neighbors, the HOA suspended towing by A1 Recovery. Oh, really? You know what they need to do? All those people that got infected by that, they need to sue the HOA. And I mean, you sue that HOA for like $500 million, bring each person with a lawsuit at least 20 million and just go from there. 31 people, we'll get there to that number. HOAs folks, do not join an HOA, don't do it. Right now, the instruction to A1 from the board president was cease and desist. We don't want you towing from the single family homes. But moments after he was given a trespass warning on the night of the incident, the driver tells whoever he's talking to on his cell phone, he'll be back. Just get that taken care of, and then when you get that taken care of, I'll be back out. Do we really want vendors going on people's property with a flashlight in the middle of the night? You can get shot like that. I'm just saying, I would hate to say that, but someone's going to become unalive by that incident, and then who's the blame? Who is the blame? Is the HA going to be the blame of that? Is it going to be the person who unalive them, or is it going to be the person who came on your property? because there's some rules. It's your property, or is it, when you're part of an HOA? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys love this. Let me know, which one do you hate the worst? <laughs> the towing company or the HOA? We'd we'll love to hear it. Don't forget to like and subscribe.